Hey drafters, in this video I wanted to take a look at the Bamboo Lab ecosystem because we all know that Bamboo Lab printers are some of the best on the market. And it's not just because of the quality of their printers, it's the whole ecosystem that they've built. The ease of entry when using their printers is like none other. As you can see on my left, I've already got a Bamboo Lab X1C printer, which I've had for well over a year. So I'm very familiar with what it's like using a Bamboo Lab printer. But I've got a new printer from Bamboo Lab and I wanted to show you. So this is the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. And it's not a new printer, but this is their cheapest offering. So I wanted to see, does the same ease of entry apply to their cheapest printer as it does with their most expensive printer? So let's get this open, assemble it, and see whether that holds true. So here is the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini in its packaging, and it's all packaged really well, ready for shipping. I can't see this getting damaged very easily in transit. Once you open the box, you'll find some wrapping and what you do is you just grab the wrapping and then lift it out. This lifts the whole printer out of the box and then you can start unwrapping it all. As you unwrap the material, you'll find a few things such as this A1 mini toolkit. This little toolkit comes with everything you need to set up the printer, things like grease, Allen keys, screwdrivers, all that kind of stuff. And in each printer, I believe you get these little kits and they're random on what they give you. So in this case, I have the LED lamp kit, but there's a bunch of other kits out there as well. Everything is packed quite environmentally friendly. So it's mostly cardboard with minimal plastics. There is styrofoam in high impact areas to help with its shipping. You'll also find some instruction booklets on how to assemble it. The other pieces that I'm removing are things like the side spool holder and the nozzle wiper. And these are the, pretty much the only components that you actually need to assemble onto the printer itself. All right, so here we are. I've got the A1 Mini out of the box now. It's a pretty simple process. Just pull it out, remove all the packaging and tape and styrofoam, and then pull all the accessories out and lay it out on the table. And you'll be left with something like this. So we have the A1 Mini and it's ridiculously small, but still functional. We have a couple of accessories here. So we have the, the wiper nozzle, the spool holder, some documentation, a tiny bit of basic PLA, which is only 20 grams. So basically nothing, some PTFE tubing and a little box with some tools. You also get one of these. So this is a LED kit. They randomly put in different of these little assembly kits. They're really cool. You get to print out different components and assemble it. And it comes with, in this case, a little LED disc, which lights it up and you can create these fancy lamps and you get random ones each time when you buy their printers. As you can see, the build plate for this is very small, only the size of my hand. And if I take the build plate from my X1C, and you can really see that size difference, almost half the size. Just to show you while we're here how to reinstall these build plates, it is a magnetic base, so you just stick the plates on, but it has some little alignment tabs at the back. So when you slide this in, it slots in the back and then you just drop it down. It's as simple as that. So comparing this to the size of the X1C, you can see this is quite a large unit here. A1 Mini right next to it. I mean, it's literally big enough. It's got a bit of weight, but I mean, when you're looking at it, well, that's not the best representation, but it's, it's really small. And then when you compare that to the Ender 3 V3 Plus, this thing could basically sit on the build plate of that. So really tiny. Anyway, the next point of this video is to plug this thing in, get it set up, go through the process of adding it to Bamboo Studio and just seeing how simple that process is. So let's get right into that. Here's a closer look at the toolkit that's provided. So inside you'll find things like the wiper nozzles, some extra grease, Allen keys, and cutting blades. And looking at the instruction booklet, it's all well detailed and easy to follow. The first thing we need to do is turn the printer around and remove this protective shroud. So this is in place for shipping, so the print head doesn't move around during transit. There are four screws in place, so we just need to remove those. And then the shroud should just remove easily. There's also a few bolts on the underside, just under the print bed, that you need to remove, and this will allow movement of the print bed. Then you simply clip on the wiper nozzle and install one of the nuts to hold it in place. On the back where you remove the shroud, you can now use that same location to fix the spool mount. So this is just a small mounting plate that screws onto the back, and then you can slide on the side spool holder onto that mount. 
In my case, I didn't get the material system with it, so I'm just using a single spool system. But later on, you can always upgrade to the multi-material system if you want to. Then we just plug it in and turn the switch on at the back and it will power on. Well, that's basically it with the assembly. I mean, it was that simple. All we had to do is remove some of the foam padding and the zip tie that was holding down the hot end, remove the plastic piece that was on the back. We then tightened the bottom, tightened the hot end, installed the nozzle wiper and the spool holder, and that was it. It was like four steps. As you can see, we've plugged it in, it's powered on, and it's ready to start. I'm going to bind this to my Bamboo Lab account. Uh, we will need to put on the spool and the PTFE tube into here, and that will pretty much be it to get start printing. All right, so let's get this account setup done, and then we should be good to go. With the unit powered on, we now need to go through the setup, and there's a really nice, small touch screen display on the front. One of the first things you'll do is connect it to the internet, so you just connect to your Wi-Fi and put in your password, and then it will give you a QR code. So I recommend you now download the Bamboo Handy app, and you can link this printer to your account by scanning the QR code and linking it. The whole process is just step by step and it's really easy to follow. And before you know it, the printer will be linked to your account and therefore be ready to use. It's at this point that it also recommends it starts its calibration, which will include homing the device and doing its noise cancelling tuning. Before I start the first print, you also got to put in your Bowden tube, which will attach to the side and then go into the top of the print head. There's also a little clip so you can just clip those two cables together. Also in the instruction, it's recommended to increase the linear rail on the bottom. So there's some grease provided in the toolkit that you just put along the rail and you sort of wipe that through and then wipe away any excess. Of course, the first thing I'm going to print, which is on the system itself, is a benchy. We'll start homing and bed leveling and then it starts printing. So it has a first impression Again, Bamboo Lab just knock it out of the park with this printer. It's easy to set up and assemble, easy to just get into your first print. It's just so fine-tuned for the customer. It's really hard to compete against something of this level. I bought mine during the Black Friday sale, so I got a on discount. Plus, I had some Maker World points for an extra discount. And at that price range, there's just no competition. Yeah, the print volume is a little small, but for me, just as an engineer, I'm doing small prototyping parts like brackets and test fitting things. It's perfect just to have on the side and quickly print things off without much thought. I really recommend this printer for anyone who can deal with the small print volume. You can always get this one and then upgrade to a second larger one in the future when you need that print volume as well. If you found value in this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel and thanks for watching.